Hey everybody, it's Matt from the house and in this video we're going to show you a few of our favorite all mountain boards for the 21-22 season. Let's check these out. Alright, first up we've got the Capita Mercury. This board is pretty amazing. Always one of their best selling boards throughout the years. Basically, if you ride in park, you're probably hitting a little bit bigger features, ride a little bit faster. But other than that, this thing can handle every throw at it from the park to the pow and everywhere in between. It is a little bit of a directional board, so obviously it doesn't look super directional, but it does have that directional shape. So when you do get it into some powder or if you want to go out and do some hard carving, you're going to benefit from that. Uh, it does have a mixed glassing, so we're actually doing a triaxle and a biaxle, kind of getting the best of both worlds, that nice, easy, smooth ride, but also that nice, aggressive and snappy pop and feel in and out of your turns. But it does have a camber to rocker design, so it's cambered in the middle, so you get extra power exactly where you need it, and then a little bit of rocker up into the nose and the tail, so you get extra float, and you also get that catch-free feel when you're riding on the flat snow. Uh, pretty cool core on this thing, too. They're doing their Panda core, which is actually a bamboo infused core. So super, super strong, super poppy. And then in addition to that, we're doing the Amplitec Vs up in the nose and in the tail. So it's basically helping to transfer a little bit of energy along the sides of the boards so you get better carving. Also, since it's running the length, basically from your bindings out to your nose and tail, we're getting that extra spring and extra pop as well. And if this board wasn't enough for you, there actually is the Mega Merc also. It's basically the souped up version of this where we're actually doing the super, super light core and we're doing the extra snappy, extra lively glass net. Basically, it's kind of like the what the super DOA is to the DOA, the Mega Merc is to the Merc. All right, next up, we've got the Evol Peace. Really, really cool board, really cool, really cool shape on this one too. We've got a little bit of the swallowtails cut out in the nose and the tail. For the most part, it's just there for looks, but it does get rid of a little bit of weight, so it's a little easier to throw this thing around and spin it. And also by having that little swallow in the back, if you do get this thing into some deep snow, it's gonna wanna sit down in the back and basically help the board float a little bit better. In addition to that, we actually do have the flat to rocker shape on this. So another thing that's gonna make it very, very catch free and also by lifting those tips up, gonna help it float a little bit better when you get it into the powder. But this thing really does excel in the park for an all mountain board. It's one of our uh, our team, and one of the Evol team riders favorite boards. We're doing a twin tip shape on this thing. You could literally mount this thing up backwards and you would never know the difference. We're doing a Biax Plus Carbon fiberglass in this thing too. So you're getting that nice, easy, smooth feel of the Biax. Nice and easy in and out of your turns, nice and smooth feeling. But then when you go to load this thing up off the jumps and even just to ollie it, you got that extra carbon to give it that extra kick and extra pop. All right, next up from Burton, we've got the Custom X. The Custom is always one of our favorite boards every single year. This year we figured we'd feature the X version of it. Directional shape, same shape as the Custom. It is basically one of the best shapes ever. I always say that the Custom is that one board that nobody hates just because it rides everywhere incredibly well. That directional shape is literally just a little bit extra nose than tail. Um, so if you do actually set this thing forward just a tiny, tiny bit, it actually is gonna feel and ride exactly like a twin tip board. The Custom X compared to the Custom though, we are souping up the core. We're also souping up the fiberglass this thing too. It's got their carbon high voltage. So very, very light, very, very snappy, snappy feel. We're also doing both bends in this board as well, just like the Custom. It does come in camber, which basically is traditional, aggressive, always wants to be on edge. Or if you want that little bit looser, easier feel, rocker in the middle, camber under your feet to rocker in the nose and tail for that nice, easy catch-free floaty feel. There's the Flying V version. And then also on this thing, we've got the WFO base. Basically what this is, is it's a base that has wax basically baked into the base, as well as being having the factory wax. So super, super fast base. Really, really holds the wax really well. All right, next up, we have the Nitro Team Board. And that's exactly what it is. It's a board for their team. Basically, if the riders could go anywhere and they could only take one board, this would probably be the board. It does everything 
from park to powder and everywhere in between. It does come in two bends. It does come in their classic camber. Also comes in the gullwing with the rocker in the middle to the camber in the nose and tail. So if you like that little bit more aggressive feel, real snappy, snappy, lively, go with the camber. If you want that floatier, catch-free feel, but have that extra aggressiveness in the nose and the tail, go with the gullwing shape. Um, this one does have a biaxial fiberglass, which is nice. It keeps it nice and easy feeling, very, very predictable in and out of your turns, but you still get a lot of extra snap and pop from the power light core. So very, very lightweight, very, very snappy and poppy. Also, there is a pro version of this too, if you want a little bit more liveliness. It's basically the same board in both bends, but it also comes with some extra carbon air just to give it that little extra. All right, next up we have the Cornu from Chamonix. This is one of my favorite favorite boards this year. Looks amazing with the gloss to matte top sheet. You can actually see through and see the core and the nose and the tail there. But this thing is a twin tip, all mountain, go anywhere, do anything board. Really, really good for riding park because of the twin tip shape. But it does have a more of a medium to almost a medium stiff flex on it. So you can actually ride really, really fast and hard on this thing. They're doing the response plus core with the extra hardwood for that extra stability and pop. Also the reply plus fiberglass on this thing, which is basically a box fiberglass with extra carbon. So we have that nice, easy, easy feel, very predictable feel, but then you've got that extra carbon to give it that extra snap and pop. But super, super good bang for the buck, especially if you like a twin tip board that you can ride absolutely everywhere with. All right, and last up, we have the Never Summer Proto Synthesis. Always one of the best selling boards every single year in the entire industry. If you want one of these things, go order it right now. If it's late in the season, they're probably sold out. But unbelievable all mountain, go anywhere, do anything board. Twin tip, ride the park, ride the pow. This thing carves like a free ride board, which is insane. And basically that thing comes from their rocker to camber design. It's their shock wave. So rocker in between your feet, camber in the nose and tail, still rocker dominant. So it still has that flow and it's a little more catch free, but the tips aren't lifted as much as some of the other boards. So it's very, very aggressive, very, very quick feel. Also, we're doing the carbon recluse underneath your feet. It's basically a carbon web. And what that does is it basically gives you a little extra stability, basically makes your bindings feel like they're this wide. When you land, you're a little heavy on the front. It wants to set you back down. Also gives you extra spring and pop when you go to load this thing up off the jumps. The other thing that's cool too is that it the angle is actually pushing your pressure from your bindings out towards your edges to make this board carve even harder. Another really cool thing about this board too is right in the middle, they've got this dampening pad. Basically what that's doing is it's helping to reduce a lot of that vibration. You know, when you're in your carve, you want that edge to sit in the snow and stay in the snow. And when you get into some of those harder, icier conditions, that chatter, that vibration can actually shake the board loose. And as if this wasn't enough for you, if you were a super aggressive rider like Chris Corning, they make the Proto Ultra. It's basically this exact same board, but we've got a souped up core and we've got some souped up carbon for guys that like to charge hard no matter what they're doing. Park, pow, everywhere that board will send it. All right, well, thanks for checking out a few of our favorite all mountain boards for the 21-22 season. Obviously, we couldn't show you all of our favorites because this video would be 10 hours long. But if you got any questions about the boards we just talked about or any of the all mountain boards that we have at thehouse.com, leave some comments down below. We're on there every single day trying to answer your questions. We want to make sure we get you into some rad gear, but most importantly, we want to make sure that it's actually going to fit you and your riding style. Also, make sure to like, subscribe, Definitely get that notification bell on too so you can find out when all the new videos drop. And whether you're riding the park, you like riding the pow, you want one board that can do it all, grab one of these all mountain boards and get out and ride. Because any day riding is a good day riding.